the Trans-Alaska Pipeline, Grudeau Bay, Alaska to Valdez, Alaska. It was built from 1974 to 1977 after the oil crisis in 1973 caused a sharp rise in oil prices. It is 800 miles long and 48 inches in diameter. The pipeline has 11 pumping stations and has shipped almost 16 billion barrels of oil. Approximately 600 kilometers of the pipeline is buried, while all about 675 kilometers is above ground to avoid burying the pipe in permafrost. Where the pipeline is buried, it is either insulated or refrigerated to keep permafrost from thawing. There are refrigeration points throughout the pipeline that circulate chilled brine to maintain the soil in a stable frozen condition. The above ground portions of the pipeline sit on vertical support systems, also known as VSMs. The pipeline has 78,000 VSMs that are equipped with heat transfer pipes and radiators that keep the permafrost beneath the supports frozen. They also allow the pipeline to move a certain amount both vertically and horizontally in the case of an earthquake. This also explains why the pipeline is configured in a zigzag formation to allow for expansion and contraction due to temperature. Today the pipeline would cost about $31 billion to build, whereas in 1977 it cost only $8 billion. That's an inflation rate of about 292.5%. Some of the pros that the pipeline have produced are that it can transport large amounts of oil in a small amount of time and it creates more places to drill from while lowering oil costs. Some of the cons, however, are that there are several native species in Alaska that have the potential to suffer. It can also affect plant life as well as landscapes like rivers and streams due to pollution. Not only did the pipeline lower the cost of oil, it created many construction jobs in the United States. This helped many families with financial problems, however 32 people did die during the construction process. Ultimately, the government realized they needed to take action during the oil crisis in 1973, so they decided to go ahead and construct the pipeline in order to resolve the crisis. Since the pipeline has been built, it has been more positive than negative when it comes to the way it has affected us humans.